Close up ball. Jucifer, throned in blood, came out in Nomadic Fortress Records in 2010. Jucifer are a two-piece of drums and guitar from Athens, Georgia, and they play progressive sludge metal. And I'd like to share some of the attempts by other reviewers of defining Jucifer's sound. Um, some people say it's Minor Threat meets The Carpenters. Na Nirvana meets Napalm Death. And my personal favorite, Portishead meets Sleep. And the truth of the matter is, they are all of the above. And I highly recommend checking out Jucifer's I Name You Destroyer for a well-rounded view of Jucifer's obscure diversity. This album was engineered by Sacramento native Chris Woodhouse from punk rock outfit The FM Knives. And this album has absolutely raw in the studio production. Uh, it really captures their live sound. And I love the crusty, lo-fi, raw production sound that this album has, that this album possesses. Especially an album that is a concept album about the atrocities of war. And it takes us throughout history to just many different infamous wars, um, Tracks like Work Will Make Us Free, which was posted above entrance gates at concentration and extermination ca camps during World War II. And tracks like and Return of the Native, which is about the massacre of Indians. And it's also the name of a Thomas Hardy book. So there might be a deeper meaning in this track that I'm just not getting. And tracks like Rifles about the 1973 coup d'etat. And all these tracks are extremely heavy and crusty and very violent sounding. It goes very well with their theme of war. And the closing track on this record is entitled Armageddon. The ultimate war to end all wars and to end mankind. And it's the only track on this record where it just sounds absolutely beautiful. Um, it's just Violet, the vocalist for this band and a guitar, singing a very just beautiful folk song about love. And it's about Armageddon, about the end of all things. And it's just a beautiful ending to this record. So if you are familiar with Jucifer's earlier efforts, um, this is definitely a step away from the production quality of those records. There's not a whole lot of dreamy pop going on. No Portis Head styled hip hop. No lush, just beautiful vocals combined with grindcore. It's all entirely aggressive with very subtle, sweet morsels dropped in various different places. A couple people that I've talked to, both, both of them said it was the heaviest, just the absolute heaviest thing they have ever witnessed, and I kick myself every fucking time I think about when they played Sack about two months ago, and I just couldn't make it to the show. But uh, definitely peep these guys out when they come to your town. I hear nothing but beyond greatness about their live performance. So if you like sludge, they're just absolutely crusty, violent, and overall just heavy. This is exactly what you're looking for. It's Jucifer, Throned in Blood. Came out in Nomadic Fortress Records in 2010. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time.